Now that you've built your Copilot agent and you've tested it, it's, everything's ready to go, it's time to deploy it. There's a couple of ways that we can deploy the agent. Uh, today we're going to take a look at two different ways that we can deploy our agent. Um, one of them's in Teams, one of them's in a website. We'll take a look at both of them. They're really very easy and very simple to get going. Um, Teams is a little bit more um, tricky. Uh, there's just a couple of steps you have to do. There's admin approval has to, has to happen, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. So let's just take a look at see how you can deploy to a website, and then we'll take a look at how we can deploy into Teams. Okay, so what I did to get it started off was I used the template to create a Safe Travels app, just just kind of a uh, just an app that we can play around with here uh, to see how this works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings up here. So click on settings, and then we want to take a look at the security. Now the security for this one, what I'm going to do is when I expand this authentication, the security I'm going to use for this one is no authentication. So you'd only want to do this if you've got data that's not sensitive to companies. You, won't, you, you have other options there to actually apply passwords and stuff. So it's going to give me a pretty strong warning here that I'm using no authentication. But you can use Microsoft Intro, for example, would be an authenticated um, app or agent. Sorry. So once we did that, we're going to go ahead and publish. So this is just going to publish all of our latest changes to the app, to the agent. Um, we'll go ahead and click publish. It's going to warn me there. Uh, and that warning is just that I'm doing, I'm basically have no authentication there on this, on this particular app. Once it's published, I can go over to the channels and that's going to show all the different things that I can uh, publish to. It's going to depend on my authentication method. But let's go ahead and take a look at the custom website one first. So if you've got your own custom website, this gives you the code that you can copy um, and then paste into your web page, and that will uh, allow the Copilot to exist there. But we can kind of take a look at, we'll see what it would look like if we go into the demo website. We'll go and copy that URL there, and I will go into the browser, open a new tab on the browser, and I'll paste that in and go there. And we've got our, our chat bot in sort of a, a mock-up website. So then we can go in and ask it a question. We can just kind of test it out here and, and see what, what it'll do. So I'm just going to say, you know, do I need a visa to travel to Europe? So then it'll come back here in a second and just give me, give me my answer for, for Europe. So that just kind of gives an example of a sample website, okay? The next thing we'll kind of take a look at is the team. So this one is a little more complicated to do. So if I go to Microsoft Teams, um, I'm gonna go, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on Teams. Give that just a second. And then I'm gonna edit my details first. So we'll go into Edit Details. And there's a couple of things we want to change for Teams. There's a long description and a short description. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to change this long description and have it um, actually short description first. And this is going to show up when the app user um, is, is searching for, for the item in the, in the App Store in Teams. So we'll just go ahead and put a short description, and then we'll go ahead and stick a long description on there as well. So we can see uh, what that's going to look like when we go to add it in Teams. And, and really, this is only going to show up when you help your users understand what this app is for in, in Teams there. So I'm having a little trouble typing there. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and allow the um, adding agents to a team and then uh, allow that in, in groups chats. Now, there is some more settings down here at the bottom. You know, you can put in the developer name, you know, website, et cetera, et cetera. There's some, some security uh, pieces down there. But I'm just going to go in and save and let that save. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on availability options. So a couple things we can do here. We can do a copy link, and that'll, that'll allow us to add it to TNTR Teams from a link. We can also share this Copilot. So if we want to distribute it by sharing it to people, we can click on this and share it to different people. What we're going to do is we're going to share to everybody in our org. So this is going to make it available to anybody in our organization. Uh, we're going to go ahead and submit for that. And this does require admin approval. So there's one extra step that we'll need to do uh, once we get that done. So as you can see here, it says waiting for approval. So where I'm going to go to next is admin.teams.microsoft.com. So it's the Teams admin site. So give that just a second. That'll go ahead and load up. And uh, we'll let that load load in here. And where we, we have to go in here just to as an administrator and, and approve this. So where we're going to go here next is we're going to go into the Teams apps. And then we're going to go to Manage apps. And we're going to see when this screen loads that we're going to have one app that's pending approval. So we should, when the screen refreshes here, give it a second. So yep, we got 
one pending approval. The best way I've found to, to figure out which one's approval, there may be a better way. I just, I just sort this uh, by, by the uh, publishing status. And you'll see this. there's our app there, our Safe Travels app that um, is blocked and hasn't published yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and publish it. And we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, publish button. And there we go. That'll be published. Now our app is still blocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on it, click it, and I'm going to click allow. And you'll see here in just a second, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hit allow here again. And you'll see here in a minute, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the app. I'll get an error, but I'm not sure that maybe some other setting that I've got wrong in Teams, but um, it does appear to work and, and it works fine, uh, even though I do get that error. Um, so if I come back in here, now it's not blocked and it's allowed. It's published, so I should be good to go to add it to a team. All right, so next thing I want to do is, um, actually, let me go back here to the screen. I'm going to refresh the, the Copilot screen, and it's going to show me that it's published and ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Teams, and I'm going to go ahead and add apps. And you'll notice that built from our org, there's our Safe Travels app. So if I go in and click Add, and we'll see there's our short description and our long description. That's where the user will see those descriptions that you, you've entered in. And we're going to go ahead and hit add here. And that's going to add it to our teams. Give that just a second. It's going to say um, added successfully. And then there it sends a message. The, the uh, agent sends a message to us. So we can see that if we go into the chat window, we'll see there's our safe travels app. We can do the same sort of thing. Just go ahead and type in a message here. So the question, do I need a visa to travel to China? Go ahead and hit enter there and we should see our response. So I hope you can see that it's not that difficult to publish your co-pilot agent. There's several different options. There's a lot more options that we didn't even talk about, but you know, the primary way that I'm using them right now is in Teams. That's, a, that's an easy way inter interface to get, um, to be able to use them with different people. Um, but you can uh, put it into a website. There, again, there's multiple ways you can do it. So really suggest everybody kind of get in and play around with this. This is where, you know, everything's going is with Copilot. Um, so, you know, get in and play around with it. It's really not that bad. It's actually a lot of fun to play around with to see some of the the answers and that it gives and some to some of the responses that you that you uh, give it questions to so it's kind of fun to play with okay till next time thanks for watching see you later bye